guys so welcome to this Mac Pro CPU upgrade first thing you want to do is open up the flaps pull out the CPU tray make sure the Mac Pro is on the floor when you do this be very careful also we'll need a strap a anti-static strap just uh, clip that onto the CPU tray around the corner this will ground yourself you need a hex screw, uh, quite a tall hex screw, about five inches. Also, I'm using a Datafac duster, which is a mains powered um, compressed air blower thing. Um, I would suggest taking it out, taking your Mac Pro outside and doing it rather than creating loads of dust around your um, CPU installation place. I did notice, um, uh, around the RAM modules there is sort of grubby dirt uh, which is bad. When you do take out the heat sink, take the bolts out in this order as shown. Uh, this is from the Mac Pro uh, training manual which I'll, I'll put a link in the video description. But you want to do it in this order. Um, I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference if you do it in a different order. I think it's just um, you know crossing the T's and dotting the Apple iPhones. Uh, yeah, you probably could get away with doing it half a turn. Be very careful when you take this off, as I did bend the this thing, whatever this is. Um, it's probably like a. A supporting column or a heat um, measuring thing but I did bend it back and it is now working fine so this is the heat sink you want to get some latex gloves on and um, get ready for a full body cavity search um sorry that's um, that's the next video you want to get ready for some heat um, gel stuff what I use is these alcoholic wipes, they're called Carl Zeus um, lens wipes, um, which uh, have alcohol in them, and I, I, you can use them to clean as well. You can use the Arctic Silver, of course, um, which I did use, but these are fairly handy. So it can take some time to get this uh, dirt off. Um, just uh, take your time with it really um. this is the Arctic clean this is the thermal material remover so this will get rid of old dry thermal grease you want to use q-tips aka uh, cotton buds here in the UK to fine tune the clean So, yep, you, you just want to sort of um, get it so it looks beautifully clean. There are some bits around the edges, so you can just go back and uh, get get the little bits in the crack there. Give it a good rub. So this is the uh, preparation uh, thermal surface purifier. So this um, ionizes it or something, does something, um, preps it. And I'm using a lint-free um, cloth that you use with uh, cleaning glasses. So I've got multiple blobs on there, but um, I just um, massively want it nice and clean. So now that's done, it's now time to do the same thing with the CPU, so be more careful with this because you are in close proximity to um, an a electronics board and you don't want to fuck up your Mac Pro. So for this I went straight in with the Q-tips, I didn't use the, the wipes because um, I think with the Q-tips you can get um, more precisely with it. So you want to just keep on using the Arctic Clean Thermal Remover and just go ahead and get it, get the, the old CPU that you're removing clean. Yeah. 
So now I've got a, a slightly used uh, Carl Zeus lens wipe here. So I'm just sort of put, wrapping around my finger and just um, doing it that way as well. The CPU, be very careful because it is spring loaded. It's like a mouse trap. So make sure you um, hold it down. Uh, you want to pull the little flap out and then pull that bit up. Um, as demonstrated, it's fairly straightforward. You just get that out of, pull it towards you and then slowly move it up and then you lift this flap up and then the CPU will just pop out really. So this is the new CPU, I did buy this from eBay, um, it's the W369 I think, it's the highest spec 6 core, um, be very careful, obviously don't touch the CPU, so you want to lift out the old CPU, and what I'm going to do is put it straight in the uh, where the new one came off and just stick it on eBay, uh, this CPU I got about I uh, probably cleared about two pounds for it, so it's, you know, it, the quad core one isn't really worth anything. So, with this CPU, make sure the notches are lined up. So, with this, you, you've got to put it back in. It is a bit, um, you do feel like you're putting too much force on it, but actually, you, you have to put a lot of force on it um, when you put the, uh, the stick down thing there. Is it and it does feel loose for me. I'm not sure whether it's the same for everyone, but the whole metal enclosure does feel loose. But I assume it's um, supposed to be like that, possibly. Who knows? So, yeah, you have to be quite uh, tough with this, uh, put it down quite tight. Yeah, you do feel like it's um, too much pressure. Check it's all uh, it's all okay. Now you want to purify the surface, um, which I'm sure the guy who's, who sold it on eBay has probably done it already, but it, it doesn't hurt to do it yourself. So you get the lint-free cloth, cloth. Just give it a good rub, and now you're ready to put thermal grease down. Um, you just basically put a big blob in the middle. cut one end of q-tip off and then you want to create a entire um, layer over the CPU um, I actually did this wrong the first time I did it you want a nice flat um, surface of grease on there do not just put a little blob in the middle so once you've done that it's time to put the heat sink back on and you just carefully uh, line it up and um, you screw it back in, use in that order. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, I personally don't think that's a huge, I don't think it, it matters too much what order you do these in. So, you know, it's not verbatim. So what I did as well, I just used this Dyson DC44 uh, vacuum cleaner, just suck out a bit of dust that's there. Um, and then you just put the CPU tray back in, click it, and then put, put the flaps down. This was filled in the summer as well, I'm wearing some beautiful pink uh, shorts there. So guys, it's the moment of truth. I'm gonna turn it on. Sounds okay. Wait for the chime. Yes, we have the chime. Yay, there we go. So we've got the login screen. Um, everything is back to normal. 3.46 gigahertz. Um, that's how fast it is. 
3.46.